fourth agreement. Always do your best. There is just one more agreement, but it's the one that allows the other three to become deeply ingrained habits. The fourth agreement is about the action of the first three. Always do your best. Under any circumstance, always do your best. No more and no less. But keep in mind that your best is never going to be the same from one moment to the next. Everything is alive and changing all the time, so your best will sometimes be high quality, and other times it will not be as good. When you wake up refreshed and energized in the morning, your best will be better than when you're tired at night. Your best will be different when you're healthy as opposed to sick, or sober as opposed to drunk. Your best will depend on whether you're feeling wonderful and happy, or angry and upset. In your everyday moods, your best can change from one moment to another, from one hour to the next, from one day to another. Your best will also change over time. As you build the habit of the four new agreements, your best will become better than it used to be. Regardless of the quality, keep doing your best. No more and no less than your best. If you try too hard to do more than your best, you will spend more energy than is needed, and in the end, your best will not be enough. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself, then it takes you longer to accomplish your goal. But if you do less than your best, you subject yourself to frustrations, self-judgment, guilt, and regrets. Just do your best. In any circumstance in your life, it doesn't matter if you're sick or tired. If you always do your best, there is no way you can judge yourself. And if you don't judge yourself, there is no way you're going to suffer from guilt, blame, and self-punishment. By always doing your best, you will break a big spell that you have been under. Doing your best, you're going to live your life intensely. You're going to be productive. You're going to be good to yourself. Because you will be giving yourself to your family, to your community, to everything. When you always do your best, you take action. And it is the action that is going to make you feel intensely happy. Doing your best is taking the action because you love it, not because you're expecting a reward. Most people do exactly the opposite. They only take action when they expect a reward, and they don't enjoy the action. And that's the reason why they don't do their best. For example, most people go to work every day just thinking of payday, and the money they will get from the work they're doing. They can hardly wait for Friday or Saturday, whatever day they receive their money and can take time off. They're working for the reward, and as a result, they resist work. They try to avoid the action, and it becomes more difficult, and they don't do their best. They work so hard all week long, suffering the work, suffering the action, not because they like to, but because they feel they have to. They have to work because they have to pay the rent, because they have to support their family. They have all that frustration, and when they do receive their money, they're unhappy. They have two days to rest, to do what they want to do, and what do they do? They try to escape. They get drunk because they don't like themselves. They don't like their life. There are many ways that we hurt ourselves when we don't like who we are. On the other hand, if you take action just for the sake of doing it, without expecting a reward, you'll find that you enjoy every action you do. Rewards will come, but you're not attached to the reward. You can even get more than you would have imagined for yourself without expecting a reward. When you do your best, you don't give the judge the opportunity to find you guilty or to blame you. If you've done your best and the judge tries to judge you according to your book of laws, you've got the answer. I did my best. There are no regrets. That is why we always do our best. It is not an easy agreement to keep, but this agreement is really going to set you free. When you do your best, you learn to accept yourself, but you have to be aware and learn from your mistakes. Learning from your mistakes means you practice. Look honestly at the results and keep practicing. This increases your awareness. Do your best because you want to do it, 
not because you have to do it, not because you are trying to please the judge, and not because you are trying to please other people. If you take action because you have to, and there's no way you're going to do your best, then it's better not to do it. Action is about living fully. Inaction is the way that we deny life. Inaction is sitting in front of the television every day for years because you're afraid to be alive and take the risk of expressing what you are. Expressing what you are is taking action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but what makes the difference is the action. Without action upon an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. A good example of this comes from the story about Forrest Gump. He didn't have great ideas, but he took action. He was happy because he always did his best at whatever he did. He was richly rewarded without expecting any reward at all. Taking action is being truly alive. It's taking the risk to go out and express your dream. This is different than imposing your dream on someone else, because everyone has the right to express his or her dream. God is life in action. The best way to say, I love you, God, is to live your life doing your best. The best way to say, thank you, God, is by letting go of the past and living in the present moment right here and now. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means you can enjoy the dream that is happening right now. If you live in a past dream, you don't enjoy what is happening right now because you'll always wish it to be different than it is. There is no time to miss anyone or anything because you are alive. Not enjoying what is happening right now is living in the past and being only half alive. This leads to self-pity, suffering, and tears. You were born with the right to be happy. You were born with the right to love, to enjoy, and to share your love. You are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. Don't resist life passing through you, because that is God passing through you. Just to be, to take a risk and enjoy your life, is all that matters. Say no when you want to say no, and yes when you want to say yes. You have the right to be you, but you can only be you when you do your best. When you don't do your best, you're denying yourself the right to be you. That's a seed that you should really nurture in your mind. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You don't need the acceptance of others. You need to express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. The first three agreements will only work if you do your best. Don't expect that you will always be able to be impeccable with your word. Your routine habits are too strong and firmly rooted in your mind, but you can do your best. Don't expect that you will never take anything personally. Just do your best. Don't expect that you will never make another assumption, but you can certainly do your best. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. You don't need to judge yourself, feel guilty, or punish yourself if you cannot keep these agreements. If you do your best, always, over and over again, you will become a master of transformation. You are a master of speaking your language because you practiced. Everything you have ever learned, you learned through repetition. You learned to write, to drive, and even to walk by repetition. Practice makes the master. By doing your best, you become a master. Action is what makes the difference. If you do your best in the search for personal freedom, in the search for self-love, you will discover that it's just a matter of time before you find what you're looking for. It's not about daydreaming or sitting for hours dreaming in meditation. You have to stand up and be a human. 
you have to honor the man or woman that you are. Respect your body, enjoy your body, love your body, feed, clean, and heal your body. Exercise and do what makes your body feel good. Your own body is a manifestation of God, and if you honor your body, everything will change for you. When you practice giving love to every part of your body, you plant seeds of love in your mind, and when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. Every action then becomes a ritual in which you are honoring God. After that, the next step is honoring God with every thought, every emotion, every belief. Every thought becomes a communion with God, and you will live a dream without judgments, victimization, and free of the need to gossip and abuse yourself. The Four Agreements are a summary of the mastery of transformation, one of the masteries of the Toltec. When you honor these four agreements together, there is no way that you would live in hell. If you are impeccable with your word, if you don't take anything personally, if you don't make assumptions, if you always do your best, then you are going to have a beautiful life. The dream of the planet will be transformed into your personal dream of heaven. The knowledge is there. It's just waiting for you to use it. The four agreements are there. You just need to adopt these agreements and respect their meaning and power.